Uh, I'm Rebecca Todd. I teach anthropology here at uh, the Dale Maver campus of HCC. About three years ago, I had a student in my introduction to anthropology course, uh, and his name is Leo Delanto. Leo is here uh, this evening. I'm going to try my best not to embarrass him too much. Uh, but let's just say Leo is the, the founding father of, of this uh, organization and the project that you're all a part of this, this uh, afternoon. Uh, Leo was in my class about three years ago, uh, and he had the pleasure of sitting through one of my many riveting lectures. Uh, this one in particular was uh, featuring some research that I had carried out uh, with a local undocumented farm working population. Uh, and uh, in speaking about this research, I, I emphasized how in anthropology we really focus on the human experience. It's the experience that human face uh, that is often lost in the conversations that we have, some of the most important conversations. Uh, at the end of this lecture, Leo came to me and later that semester uh, uh, came out to me as an undocumented immigrant himself. Uh, and about a year ago, he came to me and asked if he could start an anthropology club. I begged him to call it anything but an anthropology club. Uh, but uh, we moved forward and community-based activism is the result of that. Uh, when Leo approached me about starting a club, it was really with the, the ultimate intent of addressing this issue of immigration, uh, primarily the undocumented experience. Thank you very much and good afternoon, everyone. Um, Thank you for organizing this and for having the opportunity for us to, to have this conversation and share with you. Well, my name is Susan Valdez. I am the daughter of immigrant parents. I'm here to tell you that I'm proud of the efforts that you're doing to advocate and organize and, and share your truth. I beg you, speak truth to power because if it weren't for the people's vote, I could not have been your first Hispanic woman on the school board. I am a proud graduate of AP Lato Comprehensive High School. And I'm gonna share something with you. Don't do what I did. Like many of you, we had to work to um, help our families. You didn't think that education was the way to go because you know what, you just finished high school. You're tired of taking math, English, science, oh, that stuff, right? And you come to college and guess what? You gotta take all that stuff again. I didn't have, I fought it and I have time for that. So through the College of Hard Knocks, we learn. I'm here to share with you my kids, because you all are my kids here to share with you, do not, do not do what I did. Learn from my mistake. Currently, right now, I'm still in school. Because you see, we live a life of learning. Um, it's exactly about the stories, about the human experience of what it means to be undocumented, but also to understand the complexity of that experience and it's really reflective of here today that it's not a political discussion about Republican versus Democrats or Congress versus the state level. This is simply people coming together, neighbors coming together, student friends coming together to support each other and to have each other's back. And for me, the reason I got involved was because I am also undocumented. I have DACA protected under President Obama's uh, deportation relief program called the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. But for me, I know very well the, the uncertainty, the anxiety, the fear of knowing that one moment I can come out of my class and, and be in, you know, have my mind full of knowledge, and then the next moment I could be, I could fear being detained by immigration agents. And for me, the reason that I, I come back to many of this uh, amazing activism is because I also saw how, how great of a community we can create when we're supporting each other. Because when we don't understand the issue, you know, 
it can really be the difference of having a, a, an environment where education is secondary and immigration status is of primary importance. When it comes to, to talent, right, whether it's uh, dreamers coming to the U.S. and coming to our bright, bright uh, universities, or high school immigrants coming over and developing, uh, you know, uh, developing and coding for Facebook or Google, and build, helping build more jobs, we are limiting our economy, we are limiting our communities, we are limiting how much the immigrant population could be contributing to American society with our broken and outdated immigration system. And so one of the big drivers of the undocumented immigrant you know, issue in this country is that there is no legal path for most of the people here to get here. And if we really want to do something about you know, undocumented immigrants, we need to give them a way to actually come in. You know, another, I think, really popular myth is that uh, people come across the board and people are somehow trekking deserts and crossing, you know, fording through the river. And in fact, estimates show that up to 70% of people who are here undocumented came in legally. They came in on a student visa. They came in on a tourist visa. They came in through airports. Right. So think about that when your tax money goes to build a very expensive wall. In your awards for students who are interested in creating sanctuary campuses, what advice would you give them? Well, most importantly, is all politics is local and all power is local. It really starts fundamentally not about, you know, I need to be in Washington, D.C., or I need to be at a state capital. It is about here directly talking to your professors, talking to the administration, talking to the president, the dean, because it is through those experiences, through those uh, uh, telling those stories that we really to get to understand the very human and the complexity and how, how much we need to fix an issue, and specifically on and sanctuary campuses. This is exactly what we need to really focus on, is ensuring that there is a climate where all the students can feel comfortable. Because at the very, very fundamental, you know, when we're talking about immigration,